What's going on folks, Middle 89 here, welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to talk about contracts, um, soul contracts, you know, the implications it has with all the things we sign up to in this life and how to, you know, basically demolish our slave self programming and help bring back control and the power of saying no and the withdrawal of our consent. Because inevitably the whole universe is governed via universal law which protects our free will and so you can see when you analyze and you understand the game properly inside out upside down left to right back to front what they try to do is engineer consent and so most of the time the way they get us to sign up to these so-called unilateral agreements and adhesion contracts where they have us down as like a dead corporate fiction you know ever since registering our uh, our birth, our parents who are ignorant as well because they've just been entrained by the system, we effectively give all our titles and rights away under the constitution, under the protection of God, God's law, and now are dragged underwater under the maritime amorty jurisdiction of corporate law. And so these two dimensional bits of contracts that we have, we register all our things to the government, whether it be our car or even our lives under these SETI KV trusts, 1666, big hint there, 666, these Saturnian cults, they have otherwise taken control and full legal title over our souls and our bodies and everything we think we possess because we don't we are only renters we are otherwise usuries if we're following their legal process and then anyone who's a user can be charged rent which is otherwise tax under usury user fruct it used to be called and so they really have user fruct us over and so these things you know, thanks to the internet and the new age we're coming into, all this is becoming aware. The truth is coming out so we can now take back control and just demolish that slave self of being dependent on these fucking governments who have not got our best interest at heart because they've sold us out to otherwise other ET, demonic, regressive races to do all their fucking experiments with DNA, manipulation, abductions, you name it. Fucking honeypots, you know, child trafficking, satanic ritual abuse it's sick and so in order to stop all of that is going on it's quite simple you just withdraw your consent and you take back control of your own soul and you say not only on paper writing to the governments that you do not wish to be a part of their bankrupt corporate empire anymore but also to the universe on a soul level on an interdimensional level that you wish to take back control and you do not consent to what the governments and these fucking sick elite scumbags are doing here on planet earth and so your free will will be completely protected and then you come under the protection of the higher creative godlike forces who oversee and defend the rights of those who choose to come back under their protection rather than being a bankrupt dead corporate entity which they've set up under from your birth you know and, and registering through national national security and social security numbers for them to just move around like little pawns because you have effectively sold your soul and many people don't even realize this and so this is why as part of the awakening journey you must take responsibility of everything of your whole volition your mind your body your soul and spirit complex you've got to take everything back so any contracts that may be out there without you knowing tacitly it's called tacit agreements and this is what they engineer and this is what they turn around then and believe under their delusional delusionary world of you know illusions of grandeur that if they show us a certain truth in a film and we walk out without saying i do not consent to that they believe that to be our permission or our consent for it to manifest as a reality so we've got to be careful even the movies and you know, everything that otherwise comes into your sensory perception you've got to have guards up and realize things you see you can just say automatically you know do not consent to that being manifested in my reality if you watch like a horror film or whatever whatever they're trying to subliminally episode into the minds of the masses so we co-creatively manifest that reality so this is this is why not only <laughs> On paper we must do the things like you know making a live life claim writing into the government and actually explicitly stating that you do not wish to be a part or you do not wish to be a bankrupt corporate entity anymore and this is something I teach you know which I create a whole website which I've gone on the journey for the last two years 
will create a live life claim, learning all the secrets of the Universal Postal Union, the postal road mechanics, how to register things ourselves so we can set ourselves up as our own courts, um, as our own sovereign, you know, governing our own office and holding our own records. Because that's effectively all the government is. It's just they're record keepers and they have all the legal title and records of all the people who have basically given their power away because the people are basically saying, look, I'm too dumb to govern my own affairs, so can you please govern things for me? And that's the only reason why governments exist. But it's of course, it's engineered that way. But now there's no excuse because we have the internet, we have all the, the means and the, the courses and information to gain that knowledge back. And this is obviously videos like this can help you maybe incite that journey. And this obviously on a soul level, any contracts before coming into this space and inhabiting these bodies, you need to go back and you can order your subconscious mind, you can call upon your star family, your spirit guides, your guardian angels, whoever it may be, whatever you believe in, whatever your religion is, your higher self, go back in, direct it, demand it, order it, to go in and go back to a time where you may have been fooled into some contracts that isn't serving your best interest and so you can go back and renege it and this all goes back to you know just really truly understanding what validates what what constitutes a valid contract and that is lawful terms and conditions unilateral agreement where there's evidence of signatures and actual two living beings from both parties signing on the thing full disclosure so there's nothing that is hidden that otherwise you know would come to light to others expose the the kind of warts of the agreement which is otherwise what all the contracts of the governments and the banks do so they don't see they don't tell you all the secret operations that go down and so these these things we can carry on and into the spirit realm because this is otherwise just a reflection of the higher realms and so the same laws apply as above so below and so we can go back and they haven't disclosed us and how can how can we have full knowledge of a contract if we come into this realm with no fucking memory whatsoever it's the most retarded thing but yet people believe that this is their life and they work from cradle to grave because this is what this reality system wants to make you believe so they can keep living off your sweat equity and harvest you from cradle to grave lifetime after lifetime until you get triggered and wake the fuck up and realize that they are parasites and this system is a parasitical system that is literally wiping your memory every single time you go and die and get reincarnated back in here. You're not meant to come back in here if you don't want to, but that free will is being violated. And this is all done through technology. And this is the, the regressive ETs going you know, into the secret space programs and all this shit they get up to with the my labs, military labs, you know, abductions and stuff. It goes deep, but you know, in order to destroy that slave self, you must empower yourself. And the only way you can do this is to educate yourself, come into the knowledge and awareness of who you truly are, a child of the infinite creator, the organic infinite creator, and then you'll be protected. Once you know that, you realize no other man or woman on planet Earth, no matter what their capacity is, no matter what their role is, cannot tell you as another living individual going about your business, in the private capacity under God's protection, how to live your life. And they cannot stop you or prevent you from doing absolutely anything because these are your God-given rights unless they can prove that you've infringed on the life, rights and liberties of another soul. So you've infringed on their free will. And so that alone basically just completely wipes out all of the corporate fucking statutes, acts and codes, bylaws, regulations, legislations in order for you to just go about your business in the private as a child of God under the God, under God's law, which is the natural law, which is the common law, do no harm. <laughs> and so if you, if you believe you're a corporate entity and that those letters they have sent into you in order to pay this, pay that, you, you see it. A lot of the stuff that the government give you are in all capitals. That's, that's called capitalist diminisho maxima. And that means you have maximum loss of status, titles and rights. Which is otherwise, if you go down in the graveyard and you have a look at the tombstones, have a look at how people's names are printed on those tombstones, all capitals. If you have a look in the back of a ship, how names are uh, spelt on the back of these ships, all capital letters. So it's all maritime amity law. This is the merchant law governed by the UCC. And this is all commercial corporate dead corpses crap. This is why the judges have to wear black. 
when they get you to stand up or rise because there's someone in the dead. It's necromancy. This is all black magic. This is why back in, you know, the 13th, 14th, 15th centuries, when the Vatican put all these papal bull sanctums out on paper, basically declaring that they are going to own the whole world and all the souls in it. Because no, and then they, it was basically a writ. And so no one then at the time refused. So it, it was locked in and binded in law and they've held that, those records under the Vatican. And so they believe under their, you know, illusions of grandeur. Okay, well now we're the, we're the key holders and title holders of the whole planet and all the souls that come in it. And so they're kind of playing God. And this is all part of the satanic um, order that's here with the Luciferian pyramid, all seeing eye at the top, you know, which is just a Draco, Alpha Draco reptilian. He's probably um, taken on a human form. He works in liaison of the, the, the higher up reptilians from the Orion group. Because this, this planet isn't the only planet, believe it or not, that is part of this, this Saturnian system. There's hundreds, if not thousands. And this is why there's a salvage mission going on here. So it's so very important, can't stress this enough, for people to take back control of their whole lives, souls, minds, and bodies, and paper, and possessions. And that's all about learning the art of sovereignty and stop, you know, becoming dependent and not dependent on Uncle Sam and these government and these bankrupt corporate fictions. Stand alone as a sovereign entity under God, the divine creator, your oversoul, as a spiritual being who does no harm. If there's any evidence of me infringing on the life rights, liberties and properties of another individual, then I'm free to do as I please. All your corporate clack does not apply to me. That only applies to dead corporate fictions. And this is something they've done. They've set up a straw man in your name so you can basically become joined to that when they charge you with all these fines and silly fees and penalties and this, that and the other, which is otherwise, you know, all this corporate clack. And so if you get a letter through the post, which most people programmed conditioned to believe in that, that is their, their name, that is them, when it's just a, it's a all capitalized fiction that, that bears the same name as you, but it isn't you. If you write back and bite the hook, well, you're joined her. You've, you've accepted that and if you dispute it you're acting dishonorably they could drag you into the courts where you've been caught like a stupid fish and that where you know whether you have to bring your racket because that's what they do their racketeering because the court is just a game a, where you know it's a, it's a place where games are played and it's it's an uneven level playing field because you've got the judge on one box you've got another the clerk in another box you've got the witness stand all these different rules all these boxes have different rules look at tennis if you if you hit a ball with tennis and it lands in like the doubles area and you're playing a singles match, that's out, that's a foul. It's no different in the court and on these bits of paper. There's things that govern all these, there's rules that govern all these games. This is why we live in a giant game. And so when you start noticing and realizing the rules of the game, you can master the game and take back control because always, 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 always free will is protected. So if you go back, renege, rescind, buy T8 all contracts that you do not want to be a part of, that you have not willfully and voluntarily signed up for and given your explicit consent due to their fraudulent use of non-disclosure and deception, you will be absolutely fine. You can write this down into, the, you know, send it into the governments on your letters and you can even announce this to the universe. You can even write one, burn it. So it goes into the spirit realms and I've done all this and it's very liberating and you do become very empowered. And this is otherwise what I teach people to go through. So I'll do a shameless plug to encourage people to go to my website, which is www.agmiddleditch.com. I'll put a link in the description below so you can learn the processes of taking back control of your life. Because we know that this is how they've otherwise managed to take away all the wealth of the people is through the sorcery they've done on two dimensional bits of paper with the mortgage contracts, with the registrations of your birth, registrations of your car, everything else that goes with it. You literally are signing your life away. And there is such thing as signing your soul away. And the devil's in the details. All these, <laughs> they're basically telling you, the saints aren't just fucking plucked out of thin air. They have meaning because they're telling you the truth. And it's always reading between the lines, which otherwise means, what aren't they saying? It's what aren't they saying that is causing the problem on planet Earth and people. And stop relying on your governments and stop worshipping governments as your gods. Governments are not your gods. They are men and women who have sold their souls to regressive ET races. You do not have our best interests at heart. It's time to take back control of your soul, your mind 
body and spirit complex. And remember who you are, a divine child of God. Do not let anyone else tell you how to live your life, even under what's going on. Do not bow down to these sycophants, these psychopaths, and these parasites. 